Thanks very much, Yaro. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Justin Hall from Microchannel New Zealand, and I'm going to be joined by my colleague Ross Kaywood from Microchannel Australia. So, topics for today, I'm just going to be talking about some of the relevant use cases uh, for SAP Customer Checkout, um, and then I'm going to discuss some of the key benefits, the topology, what are the key components that make up uh, the Customer Checkout solution and then talk about some of the core features and some of the where SAP is focusing on future features. So just a little bit of background about um, what are some of the use cases for the SAP customer checkout. Um, applicable right across uh, from retail all the way through to food, uh, food service, whether that be um, quick service, being cafes, takeaways, cinemas, uh, all the way through to table service and, and sit down service. Um, so for microchannel customers, whether you're whether you have a second store at the back of your warehouse, whether you are a fully fledged retail uh, business, or all the way through to fine dining restaurant, SAP customer checkout is worthy of consideration for your business. Just to talk to some of the key benefits um, that uh, that customer checkout will present. Um, it is a fully featured point of sale system. So from uh, being able to select from your products, um, uh, ringing up an account, taking, uh, taking payment, whether that payment be by credit card, cash, uh, loyalty points, or through the use of gift vouchers, or even on account for customers you have set up in your Business One system, um, it is a fully featured point of sale system. Uh, with various discounting functionality and and all of the um, the key features that you're going to expect in a point of sale system, um, it has a component called SAP Customer Checkout Manager, which allows you to centrally manage your uh, point of sale clients. So this means whether you have one client or a hundred or a thousand, you can actually manage the look and feel, uh, some of your daily processes. Um, and you have a, a central view in real time across your entire network. One of the key elements of uh, customer checkout is that it is a fully tightly integrated solution with your SAP Business One database. That means you're sharing uh, business partner master data, item master data, pricing, and in turn, um, when you're working in online mode, it is also saving back to your SAP database in real time, so you have real time visibility. Um, the key point there though is that it is also capable of operating in offline mode, so it's a, it's a local installation, um, and therefore if, uh, if your connectivity to your database goes down, you still have the ability to uh, operate in offline mode. There is an extensive uh, package of, of reporting built into the solution. Uh, obviously, you'll have any reporting you have set up in your SAP database, but Customer Checkout also comes with its own reporting features um, at client level and at the manager level as well. And one of the real areas of investment that, uh, that is coming into Customer Checkout recently is the ability to extend the solution out to mobile devices whether that be as simple as a tablet on a table allowing your, your end consumer customers to order, or even uh, on a mobile device to be able to pre-order and pay for product and then collect uh, at an agreed time. So here I'm just gonna talk about the three key components that make up uh, the customer checkout solution. Obviously you have your SAP database in the background, but then there are three other elements. In the center, we're looking at the clients. So the clients are installed locally uh, on machines in, um, uh, in the premises where you're operating your point of sale. Um, then we have the SAP Customer Checkout Manager function, which is um, accessed by browser and allows you to view your, your network of, uh, of terminals for clients. The third element is the SAP Customer Checkout Monitor. So uh, this allows you to check the flow of messages from your database in terms of master data flowing up to your customer checkout client. It also allows you to check the flow of transactions back to the database, so actual sales records. Now, you would think that in online mode that's fine, I shouldn't be needing to check my messages, but if you have an instance where you've lost connectivity and you're having to work in an offline mode, 
what the customer checkout monitor allows you to do is log on once you're back online and check that everything you've performed in an offline mode has synced back through to your database. So three key factors, the client, the manager, and the monitor. Okay, so just a quick discussion around some of the core functionality that exists here. Obviously, the ability to rack up a sale and complete a sales process, um, and executing payment, whether that be by card, cash, credit, or loyalty points. The ability exists in the system to be able to manage your articles, so article being the customer checkout term for items. Um, it is tightly integrated with your Business One database, but there are additional functions that you can perform within Customer Checkout in addition. It is a fully integrated solution, carries its own reporting package, has the ability to for customers to both earn and spend loyalty points, and you can control both how they are earned and spent, those rates and what triggers those activities. Um, we can integrate with multiple payment gateways so that you have many different pathways for collecting payment. And of course, this is applicable to um, any type of uh, item inventory that we're selling, and it applies to both food and beverage and also has functions around table management. Just this next slide talks about the, the future direction and some of the elements that are available in Feature Pack 12 that we've been talking about today, um, and um, just gives you a guide on where SAP is going with the product. It is constantly making improvements to the, uh, to the user interface itself, um, bringing the customer checkout manager in line with the Fiori uh, user experience that we have with other SAP products. But there's also a big shift to that ex extendability and flexibility in terms of your ultimate customers being able to order on mobile devices or order from tables. Many enhancements around the areas of gift cards and loyalty, and also about how the system is accessed. Um, so now I'm going to hand you over to my colleague Ross, and you're actually going to get to see the solution, and uh, will be available at the end of the presentation to answer any questions that you might have. Hello, everyone. Thanks, Justin. Um, I'm Ross Kaywood from Micro Channel Australia. Um, today I'll be showing you around the customer checkout product. Um, as Justin mentioned, there's three core um, components to customer checkout. And what you can see here in front of you is the actual terminal where you process transactions. If I click over here, we go to the SAP Customer Checkout Manager. This is where you can control your users, you can control how your look and feel looks at a central level. You can do all your gift cards, loyalty, and all that sort of configuration here as well, and push it out to the terminals. And then we've got the monitor. So this is where you'll um, review what's processed through the SAP when it's on an offline mode, and you'll see any inconsistencies in this window. Okay, so now just to run through a couple of features of customer checkout. So what we can do in customer checkout is each, each terminal and each store can be assigned a customer code from SAP in order to segregate each store from each other. And what that allows you to do is every time you make a sale, you don't have to select a customer. So in, in this example, I'll just be selecting an item and I can just make a sale. So we've got different payment terms as well. So if I click on here, we can pay by cash, card, by gift card, on credit, or what we can do as well is pay by loyalty points. So customer checkout has the ability for your customers to accumulate loyalty points as well as spend them. So in this example, I'm just gonna pay by my credit card, and you'll see the sales going through. If I jump to SAP, I can go to the last invoice and I can see here's the sale in SAP. Produces the payments as well and reconciles the transaction. Okay. Another key function of customer checkout is that it can handle discounts from SAP. So if you've got special pricing set up in SAP, you can sync it through to customer checkout. If I choose this item, I can see it's applying the discount that's set up in SAP. 
Another key feature is serialized items. So it does have the, the functionality to handle serialized items. So if I click on this, it'll ask me to choose a serial number. And I can search from the list. I can select the right one and say done. What we can do as well is we can adjust the quantities. Um, we can adjust discounts on a line level. We can also do discounts on a header level by clicking on this, and that will give us a discount on a header level. The other thing the customer checkout does allow us to do is to do AR reserve invoices. So if we select receipt type, we can process a reserve invoice. I can also look up different stock quantities in different warehouses. So if I go into search an article, and that's your items in SAP, I can search any article and I can choose stock overview. That will then bring me all my warehouses in SAP with their, with their stock. So if you don't have stock of an item in your store, you can guide a client to go to another store. The other features that customer checkout has is to do cash in, cash out transactions. So if you need to take money out of the tool to pay for something, you can, as well as your day in closing, which is your cash up. So you can conduct your cash up from the actual customer checkout itself as well.